It's a scene that you're in. It's a famous scene. Let's take a look at the extended scene on DVD. Oh, Let's... I think I remember. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Sal, Tom, the boss says we're coming in a separate car. He says for you two to go on ahead. Hell, he can't do that. It screws up all my arrangements. Well, that's what he said. I can't go either, Sal. I always liked it. He understands that. Tom, will you get me off the hook? You know, for old time's sake. Can't do it, Sally. Please. I said I can't do it, Sally. Pretty please. With sugar on top. I know you got a sweet tooth. No. What if we forget this whole murdering me thing and go to Baskin Robbins? You know, a little ice cream. That's tempting, but I'm lactose intolerant, sir. I didn't know that. Yeah. How about some hot dogs, then? I don't eat pork, Sally. I'm Jewish. You are? No, you're not. I converted. What about all beef hot dogs? Can't trust them. How about Mexican food? I could go for some Mexican food, actually. So where do you want to go? Uh, how about Taco Bell? Can't do it, Sally. How about El Sombrero? If I eat it, I'm out of this world. Sounds good. You go ahead, I'll meet you there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in the past year or so, soda manufacturers have scored a big hit by adding lime to their products. There's Coke with lime, there's Pepsi with lime, and many, many more. Well, our next character is the latest variation on soda with lime. Here's Vagoda with lime. Vagoda with lime. Vagoda with lime. TV's fish is now more delicious with a tangy twist of lime. Vagoda with lime. Vagoda with lime. Kind of strange uh, because they have a sighting that's in the paper today in today's New York Post, and it's uh, a sighting of Abe Vagoda, who's a friend of ours. Abe Vagoda squeezing avocados at Fairway, quote, contemplating them for a while as if the firmness of their flesh had awakened some potent <laughs> memories. <laughs> he didn't make The Post has gorgeous writing. It's beautiful. Uh, that's crazy, though. We read that, and I, I just, I was thinking, I'm not sure what kind of memories squeezing avocados could trigger and what's going on with Abe, but fortunately, this whole incident with Abe was caught on video. It might explain some things. Let's take a look right now. To bed, Abe. Not now, dear. I'm squeezing avocado. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It wouldn't be Christmas without a vagoda. No, it sure would not. No. Mm -hmm. Lighting the vagoda is an American tradition that dates back centuries. Now, over the years, and today more than ever, the Vagoda has become a symbol of hope and joy in New York for the holidays. And Conan, did you know that Vagodas typically have lifespans of 200 years? Wow. Yes. I didn't know that. But Nancy, if there's one question that everybody asks, it's, how did you get such a big Vagoda into your studio? Well... This year's six-foot-tall North American Abe Vagoda came from Poughkeepsie, New York, specifically the front yard of Joan and Barry Wendell. Now, he was here when we bought the house. Right. You realize how long ago that was? Oh, that over 50 years. Absolutely. He was small. He was small. He, he's grown. <laughs> the whole world is Able going to be watching it. our Abe. Our Abe. <laughs> On television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be yeah, great, yeah. but mm -hmm. I'm still... Mm. I'm still going to miss him. Removing the Vagoda was no easy task. First, the Vagoda was wrapped and bound to prevent limb breakage. Then, he was carefully pried from the ground, hoisted up, and placed on a flatbed truck. All right, let's go! 
of the 30-mile journey to Rockefeller Center and Studio 6 Truly amazing. Oh, yes. Now we'll be lighting the Christmas pagoda in just a few well, minutes. as amazing as a total eclipse of the sun is, there is something that takes place right here in this studio <laughs> that's equally impressive. I'm talking about a complete vagodal eclipse. <laughs> Here's how it works. Every 40 years or so, very rare, character actor Abe Vagoda, that's pictured here, crosses... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crosses in front of one of our studio cameras, this camera right over here, and totally, totally obscures the view of our show. <laughs> it's a true marvel of science. Very hard to comprehend, so here's a technical diagram of what actually takes place. There you can see what happens. <laughs> Vagoda, it positioned just correctly. Very rare. As I said, this event happens every 40 years or so. In fact, the last time it happened was on episode 436 of The Jack Parr Show as he interviewed Zsa Zsa Gabor and Jane Mansfield. And uh, <laughs> see right there, Parr trying to still remain on camera. Needless to say, Parr handled it like a pro, consummate pro. Now, if my watch is correct, the eclipse should start any second now. This is exciting, and let's see. Yes, yes, there it is. As you can see, the first stage in a Vagoda eclipse, always the appearance of his ear hair, and there it is. Of course, we are not alone in witnessing this event. People around the world are watching with bated breath. People from China are watching this event right now. Uh, Egypt, they're watching in Egypt. Okay, that's China, there we go. <laughs> and say, uh, there, yeah, and that's Zimbabwe, believe it or not. Who knew Zimbabwe had pyramids? Uh, all very excited, who can blame them? But go to Eclipse, already at its one quarter stage. You're seeing a little bit of eye there and ear and cheek. I have to warn you, if you're planning on watching this eclipse, there are some precautions you should take. Looking directly at a total vagodal eclipse can cause serious eye damage and several birth defects. As you can see, our band is ready right now. Max is looking through exposed film. <laughs> Jimmy has decided to wear a welder's mask. <laughs> and instead of looking at the vagoda, La Bamba is going to stare longingly at a picture of Harry Hamlin. <laughs> Very close now, just a few centimeters left. Here we go, it's coming, here we go, we're getting there, and yeah! Incredible! I'd love to do a whole show like this. <laughs> Anyone tuning in right now is desperately trying to fix their television. <laughs> I'm seeing a Vagoda, you crazy! <laughs> All right, let's take a little break. When we come back, Josh Hartnett is here. Oh!